Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm so happy to have you here again Today is the day I will spend two nights and two days in this beautiful forest Through those mountains just with the gear I have in my pockets and As you can see, I also have a dry sack with me. I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna show you what I have in, in this dry sack I, I decided to carry this dry sack because I have all the camera gear in it so just because I want to be honest I have a tripod a power bank because uh, my camera dries uh, batteries pretty quickly I have an ambient light I usually use for photography and video making Uh, I have a dry sack with cables for uh, the power bank, for the gimbal, for the cameras, etc. I also have a lens cleaning kit with uh, a secondary uh, battery and all, all the gear that I use to clean and, and keep uh, uh, in, in, a, in a good health my camera. I have some spare batteries. I have another lens which is my favorite lens is a it's a 35 millimeters prime lens uh, it's actually the one that i use the most i also have two filters uh, that I, I attach on my lenses when i have to do long exposure photographies and etc and last but not least oh i have the two caps for my camera and the lens that I have on it and last but not least the only food that I will have this weekend which is a, a, a real field meal uh, breakfast and, and it's only um, 372 uh, calories uh, I just wanted to spice up the game a little bit and I personally think that having not so much food is worse than not having any food because if you don't have food you you don't have to think to manage the only food you have so and and the rest as you can see there's nothing so uh, for me it's very important to have all all the gear that i use uh, to deliver you the contents that, is, that you can see on Instagram or uh, my uh, YouTube channel. So I think it's gonna rain. Uh, I think it rained last day. Now it's it's cloudy and and uh, the sun come and goes. I, luckily, I love rain. I just want to to go uh, to the place that I will make uh, my shelter for the night before it rains so I will be safe and sound let's go I like these challenges they help me out to become more comfortable through discomfort from where I am now if I'm hydrated protected from the weather and able to sleep and rest, I'm happy. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna collect some water here. Oh. So I will I will boil it later. I will lately go in that direction, but I will take this old path and then I will turn right into that forest and go down because now here it's too messy and it's hard to, to know where you are putting your foot on.
Do you remember the top spawn I showed you a couple of videos ago? Now they are finally born. How cool is that? Fire and water won't be my concern this time. I will be focused on shelter. I have to find the best setup to keep me protected from the environment. One of the most underrated factors in the outdoors is our sleep quality. I personally think that once you achieve how to purify wire water, how to light a fire and you own a basic navigation skills, being able to rest properly no matter the weather you are going through is the most important aspect. The more we stay outside, the more it becomes fundamental to keep our mind sharp. Did you recognize this place? I'm heading where Frank and I camped last time. I will need to come back here again to find another safe spot. This is the place where Frank and I were the last weekend. And it seems to be the only flat area nearby. Ah, I'm thinking to use this tree to attach the space blanket or uh, the drum liner in order to make the shelter here. I don't know and I will give her some rocks and create a, a safe fire pit uh, in front of the shelter since the ground is pretty soft uh, I don't want to to cut branches pine branches just to to be comfortable during the night uh, it doesn't make any sense to me I'm gonna I'm gonna scout this area now because I'm hearing a river. I found another safe spot there. trees seems to be in, in good health the two small dead trees that one and this one that doesn't concern me so much uh, I want to keep going and follow uh, the river noise what do you think about this forest guys do you have something like this where you live do you usually spend overnighters alone in this kind of forest? Let me know in the comment. Thank you. I think I'm strongly addicted to exploration. You know, that strong necessity to keep moving on to discover new places. Find those tiny spots where no one goes and share those with all of you. I think this is one of the main reasons brought me here on YouTube. I see something strange out there. Let's check it out before get back to the first spot that I found. Okay, 
there been a kind of Let's get back to the shelter location. <clears throat> it's time to build the shelter. 5.10 p.m. The only thing that I have with me is this huge drum liner. and a sole emergency blanket I just want to, to decide what, what I go, I'm going to use as a cover over my head uh, what I'm gonna put on the ground to protect myself from the moisture if I would follow the, the normal survival principle which is the conservation of the resources uh, I shouldn't put this uh, emergency blanket on the ground because I can damage it. I have to admit that here everything is 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 very soft, and despite few pine cones and very few tweaks, uh, there's nothing that could damage this uh, this one. Uh, I will try both and, and, and then I will decide how to proceed. I used to round up the other end of each 10 peg I make so if it gets hit by a rock fibers won't split. It's a good trick. I'm making very simple 10 pegs, nothing fancy. They just need to work. Okay, since uh, the drum liner uh, doesn't have any, any grommet or loops, uh, we have to find another way to attach a, a piece of bank line. In this scenario I can use these soft pine cones. You can, you can wrap the pine cone, the, the, the small piece of pine cone with the drum liner and then you lash it with the with the with the bank line it, it's pre, it's pretty easy i'm gonna do the same now 
on the other side and uh, uh, I will start mounting uh, and, and tightening all the, all, the, all the shelter so you can see the results. We can do the same here and this soft pine cone that you can break it and use just a small piece. Wrap the piece of pine cone with the, the drum liner. I usually make it very fast. Slip knot, pretty easy. Okay, now I'm gonna attach it to the to the ten peg first. I never cut the, the bank line or any kind of rope before I, I I've done what I have to do because I don't want to waste any any material. The sun is going down. I don't know what's gonna come later. I finally done with the shelter. Uh, I just gave her some wood for the, for the night. Not too much because I, I'm not going to, to leave the fire going all, all night long uh, I'm tired because using only only a, a Leatherman is a pain in the butt uh, I'm really missing my silky saw and my smilodon yeah but it's it's always a great experience try to to challenge yourself with different tasks in order to improve yourself, your, your skills and evolve. Yeah, how beautiful it is. I'll show you the setup that I, I went for. I'm starting to be hungry, but I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink a tea tonight. I only have one ration, and uh, I will keep I, I will keep it for tomorrow. Do I look tired? Because I feel tired, <laughs> but that's okay. So I'll show you. Here's the setup. That I went for. Opa. Opa. Uh, it's way cleaner. Uh, wait a second. There's enough space to sleep. I just gave her some woods there I, I, and I made a fire pit. A very small one because I don't want a big fire. I don't want to melt the, the drum liner. So I'm pretty protected from both side, sides, sorry, because it's going down here. This tip. And if I show you the other side, here, even here, the terrain is steep. And in, so I'm, I, I'm happy on how it came out. Finally, home sweet home.
is not it's not very high for me I'm, I'm i'm quite tall but there's plenty of room to sleep and i'm mean, actually okay uh, the bigger is the shelter the more heat you need to to make it warm so for me it's perfect and I only used what I had in my pockets my Leatherman multi tool my, um, a couple of spools of bank line my drum liner that I had on my uh, right cargo pockets and uh, the the sole emergency blanket um, that I have on, on this front pocket I think it's gonna be a good night I still don't know if it's gonna rain but I'm pretty I'm pretty okay with the shelter so I don't care if it rains hope you like it and um, please let me know what's your favorite shelter setup and I just would like to know if if you if you would like to try what I did today nearby where you live I don't know in your forest let me know I would like to to, to see and hear from you if if you like the experience and if the, this experience and this training gave you something to carry as a knowledge let me know humidity level is rising and rain will come I feel it I need to make fire fast so it will be warm enough to stand the rain coming down and I won't get cold I want to show you a tip if you need more than two strikes to light a fire in a normal situation like now, you are doing something wrong. Maybe the movement is not quite correct, or the tinder isn't well prepared. Hope it helps, ladies and gentlemen of the woods. I think I will be toasty tonight. Even if it if the wood looks dry, it's moist. Everything is moist. It's becoming so hot inside here. Which is good. I always enjoy the silent talk of nature, even our society doesn't listen. We moderns have convinced ourselves that only humans speak, and as a result we can no longer hear the other voices that surround us. Nature appears to us as mute, with no inner life and nothing to communicate, and so we think we can do with it whatever we wish. Because we do not hear what nature has to say, nor even that it is saying anything at all, we treat natural entities as a mere things, rather than as other subjects with whom we share a common world. We believe that we have moral duties only on those whose voices we do hear, 
which is to say our fellow humans. Those who are able to speak deserve our respect as a moral agent. Science nature do not seem to speak, we feel justified in denying such respect. But if we listen carefully and then spend there our conception of what speech and language involve, we will come to see or rather to hear that nature and natural entities in fact do speak and so do deserve moral respect. This is an extract from Environmental Values written by Stephen Vogel. What do you think about it, guys? Do you agree with it? Please let me know in the comment. Yeah, I think it's a really important matter that we cannot take for granted these days. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Here's how our nature looks like this morning. A beautiful foggy morning. Good morning. It's been a cold night, but I've slept very well. Uh, I think I woke up a couple of times. Uh, it rained. So everything is soaking wet now. Uh, I'm trying to light a fire at the camp. So just because I want to drink a tea. The only thing I have. Uh, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep the rations for lunch. So that's okay. It's amazing how we can stay outside in the forest quite safely without carrying everything by the kitchen sink. And for emergency, you made uh, an emergency shelter that protected me from uh, the rain 
and the weather in general for maybe 15 bucks. These are the kind of moments that I live for. By the way, I'm not the kind of guy that says that we should go only for the minimal approach. I'm just saying that it's good to take a step back and see how we react with less. Just because if it might happen, we can be prepared. Hope you agree with me, dear friends. Even if I'm a little bit hungry, I want to show you another place. As you can see, it's definitely not a flat area, but it works the effort. Regarding to the conservation of resources, move and consume energy only if it's needed. Animals have a lot to teach to us. As a matter of fact, they always use the easiest way to go from point A to point B because they know how much food and calories are important. decided to go through these days without eating. 
it's not a big issue and drinking teas give me morale boost so even if I feel tired I'm good and relaxed I truly hope you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.